Hi morning everyone, Richard here. I'm out here today specially for this. I've just picked this up and look at this. This is a very unique lens. This is the A mount Sony 500mm f8 reflex lens. Look at the reflex. There's a mirror there. So it's just two pieces of mirror reflecting each other to the sensor. So we shall, we shall try this out. This is a 500mm f8 and the weather is great because it's super sunny so it's a good time to test out this uh, reflex lens and see how it goes this 700 grams so it's very very light and it's very small <laughs> great for travel if you go to travel you don't want to bring big lens this is a, the lens to go for and uh, bad thing about this is once you on it it's only focusing in the center right so it's like these uh, Canon RF lenses where it's just focusing in center. I'll, I'll play around with this and try to get some birds in flight if I can. And uh, we shall see how it goes. Uh, very interesting. I'm very happy to, to manage to grab this. This is uh, <laughs> You can't get this anymore nowadays. <laughs> so the focus area, you can see is just a red dot in the center. Right. So currently I'm at the Putrajaya Wetland Park. It's my favorite spot for birds in flight because the birds will fly from there to there and there back. So you definitely gonna get some birds depending on the time, right? So it's 10 o'clock now. So you can see there's one heron. Soon there will be herons flying around. And uh, I just saw the oriental data pass by this while I was driving here. But uh, you can see there. But we shall go to the other side and shoot back this direction because the sun is is facing there so it's better to shoot this way so that we can get the pictures of the birds and uh there are all the feeding area at the bottom there you can hear all the herons making noise right so this is a great place for you if you want to do uh, birds in flight practice uh, bird, big birds and small birds passing by here so you can try So this is uh, F8 and uh, at 1 over 2500 shutter speed this is just the center focusing area and ISO is 1000 because at F8 so uh, let's see what else can it get there's no IS on the lens so it's based on the body stabilization but uh, it's not very the IS is on this uh, A7R4 isn't that smooth anyway so your hand will be shaking uh, that's why you need to shoot high shutter speed Let, there's a bird passing by there I can't get it because it's such a small focus area let's see if I can get that there's one more here so there's a pigeon flying around It will focus hunt. <laughs> wow, it's so small. I can't get the focus in the box because it's too small. Right, so. And there's no focus limiter. Yep, the heron is landing. Once you miss it out of the box, you'll just focus everywhere else except because I'm focusing against the sky, right? So Okay, probably got a few there. Let's switch check and see. Oh my god, this lens is surprisingly sharp. Look at that. That is wow. When it's in focus, it's okay. It's sharp. Look at that. It's a reflex lens. <laughs> it's got. <laughs> I managed to get the bird banking. This is a pigeon. This is crazy. That is not bad. This is a very very small lightweight 
uh, lens and uh, wow that's the heron that's it oh, oh my god I don't believe this this is an interesting lens if I can get it to focus wider instead of just a small spot I don't know why it locks it in this is Sony limitation they just love putting the software limitation to it uh, yeah so that is the thing let's see if any more birds in flight stationary birds should have no problem with this lens right just that I want to test it out for birds in flight which is the hardest thing to do let's see what else we can get yeah you can see all the herons on the tree there that's uh, their own private island so I'll be surprised if this lens is so good oh there's the oriental data you're looking at it's flying against the sunlight it's a beautiful bird it's a black bird and it's going the other side hopefully it comes back it likes to make a flight there and then fly back this uh, heron is coming towards me I, I'm very impressed with this lens. <laughs> this, I don't need to carry a big lens, heavy lens. It's just 700 grams. With the body A7R4, I got enough zoom and I can even do it in APS-C mode. Let's put it in APS-C and see what happens, right? So let's try this out. It's okay, these guys are the three. Let's see who can I shoot. So let's say this guy is there and I'll switch it to a 64. So APS-C and 64. Whoa, nice. This guy seems to be out of color, it's white color head. Interesting. So, haha, <laughs> I'm really impressed with this Sony 500mm f8 reflex lens with autofocus, right? Uh, connected to the uh, E-mount uh, to A-mount adapter, and it doesn't. It does even have a drop-in filter, but I don't think I can buy any drop-in filter for it yet. But uh, it's so like 700 grams coupled with the body is uh, I don't think it's probably one it's another six seven six hundred grams so it's one point some one point four probably one point four kilos here or one point two right so which is great uh managed to get many photos of the flyby see there's one flying by now and uh the images I'm I'm surprised it's sharp this reflex lens is sharp so I do hope you like the pictures and uh, just having fun with this. I just look at this. If I can take this for traveling, it'll be damn great. I don't need to carry. I'm actually carrying a 2.5 kilogram lens behind me in the backpack. That is the 300mm f2.8 Minota APO A mount, right? That is a very heavy lens, but uh, pretty good for lay low lights. Uh, but if you're going to shoot birds in flight, you still need to pump it up to f5.6 or f7.1 to get the whole bird so f8 is just right for birdings bird in flight i mean not when you're perched in the tree under deep shadow so i'll try some of those shots as well and uh, do give me a thumbs up if you like the photos and uh do subscribe for my next video trying out weird stuff if i can get hold of this kind of weird things I, I would really love to try it out but uh, that shows how much engineering work they had this is actually a supposed to be a Minota right <laughs> so they just adapted it for uh, Sony 
So Minota Sugans uh, seems to be very enduring, can last many years. This means, I don't know, pretty old guns, this one. Oh, see you, have a nice day, and I'll subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.